Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, guys, I apologize. I did not get to make it down to Bowling Green. I had to work. I really, I really wanted to go there and watch the races and everything like that. But I was trying to get the Grand National ready to drive down there. Uh, if you see in the last video that I did have uh, replaced the radiator and everything, and I thought the temperature was okay to drive down there. Uh, it's a two hour drive for me. Um, so I replaced the radiator and I also ordered some Moog uh, stock height springs to put on it so it could be a little bit more comfortable riding down there. Um, right now, my car is lowered. It's a two inch lowered spring with UMI. And um, like sometimes, like when you hit a bump or something, it's not comfortable at all. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's okay if you're in local, but you want a smooth ride when you go down there. So, what I did, I went and bought some uh, Moog uh, uh, springs. I'll show you in just a few minutes. But like I said, I wanted to go down there and give y'all some guys some good content. Um, but unfortunately, I had to work again, like I said. Uh, but if you want to see some good content, go to Peanuts Automotive Adventures. Uh, those guys did a great job, uh, you know, uh, videotaping the races and everything. That's where I've watched it at. Uh, they did a good job. So check out Peanuts Automotive Adventures. Uh, and they got some good good video of drag racing and, and the event that was down there over the over the weekend. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to show you the springs that I got. And we're going to be replacing with the UMI. So these are the springs right here. Um, I went to Summit, got the parts number and everything that I needed. So I ordered these off of Amazon. Um, also, I got the pads right here and the springs. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I gotta move loose for right now. I gotta, you know, move around a lot of stuff. So, so we can go ahead and get it started. So as you can see, you can see how lower the car is. Like I said, I think it's their two inch lowering the springs or something like that. I think it's two inches, UMI lowering springs. Um, thing about this car right here is, is like when I told them my T-Type, I had a blue T-Type, um, sort of like what Watts Performance had, the same color and everything as the T-Type. Uh, it got total, so I went and bought this car. And once I bought this car, the uh, first thing I did when I brought it back to Kentucky was, uh, changed my put on some aftermarket wheels on it and i think within a week or so that's when i start putting lowering springs on it so this car has not been really in my possession has not been on uh let's say the originals height or stock suspension or whatever i changed it over as soon as i got the car so right now this would be the first time i put some uh the lowering springs i mean not lowering spring but my uh some springs stock height ride height shall I say, I own this car. And so I'm, I'm really excited to see what this thing will look like and what it rides like. I wanna see the big difference. So with that being said, guys, this should be like an easy install. Uh, so I'm gonna have to lift the car up and replace the springs. So it shouldn't take that long at all. So I'll get back with y'all guys as soon as I uh, get everything situated and lift it up.
All right, so far I got everything secure. Got my jack stands uh, underneath here. So all I need to do now is just remove the springs. Yep. So all this suspension work is like I say, it's you and my um, control arms and everything. Where is it? Yeah, the lower control arms, you and I. So let's get these springs out. Usually, um, these are real easy to take out, but knowing my luck, the luck I have on this car. Oh, that goes this way. I will have some kind of problem getting these out. Right. Let me work with this again. You know, I left it. Want I don't want to remove the shock, so we'll see. I'll work with this. There's nothing there ever easy for me. So, I thought these was UMI uh, lowering springs, uh, but these are the BMRs. These are BMR lowering springs. My uh, UMI is somewhere over there. I remember I changed these out. I changed them out. Cause like I say, I was trying, I was struggling with some uh, quality of, uh, some ride quality. So I changed the uh, UMIs out, it's over there somewhere, to these BMR lowering springs. Both of them was about lower, uh, half an inch or two inch or something like that. So this is what we're going to be going with. This is going to be the stock one. So let's go ahead and get these put back in. Yeah, just about I figured. Like I said, I'm always having problems when working on this car, man. So what is happening is I can't get these springs up here because these shocks right here are especially designed uh, for my car being lowered. So... What I did, I removed this nut on both sides. Hopefully I can raise the car up, remove these uh, the shocks off the stud, then install the springs. So, yeah. Like I said, I don't have no luck when I'm doing something. Nothing can be easy on this car. All right, let me continue. Side off. Let me get the other side off. All right, so far I got 
the both shocks off and uh, I'm gonna lower this down and hopefully it'll give me enough room. <clears throat> The problem that I'm having, I don't know why. I loosen up the shocks here, but still, this is giving me a problem getting on this right here to get over that. My son helped me on the other side, so I think I'm gonna have to go get him again to help me put this over, over this part right here. Yeah, I don't know why it's such a big problem, but hey, that's, but once again, that's me working on my car. I'm always running into something as simple that takes probably about an hour to do. So let me go get his help and uh, I'll All be right, right back. Go ahead. So right now, while I got my son pushing down on that wheel, he's pushing down on the wheel right there. It gave me a little extra room to put this spring in. Hold on a second. Pushing down. Push down just a little bit. Can you push or? All right. All right. I do it. All right. Appreciate it. All right. So, so far, I got both the springs on. Like I said, I don't know why it took me so long. Like I just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get this down to slide the the coil springs in. So now, if I gotta do is gotta jack this back up and just to connect my shocks and we should be good to go. And then we'll give it a test drive. So I finally got the springs on. This side over here looks pretty good. Like I say, I have to probably drive it and uh, let it settle down a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that right there. And let's go to this other side. I'm not digging that right there. So hopefully by me driving it around, it, it'll level that out a little bit, but uh, definitely I'm gonna double check that, make sure that the uh, springs and everything is seated right and correctly uh, before I leave. I'm pretty sure it is. So let me just take a look under here real quick anyway. Just taking a look. That's seated good. I feel like that's seated pretty good too. Yeah. Got my UMI shocks. So if anything happens or anything, I, I got the uh, original shocks I can put back on here. So let's go give it a test drive. So right now, I'm gonna give it a test drive and see how it feels. See if it rides any better. If it rides any better, I'll probably just go back to stock all the way around. But uh, hopefully these shock, these uh, springs will settle down a little bit. So it won't be sitting on high, so we'll, we'll see. Hopefully this will help my traction too, uh, you know, because I know it's lowering springs, I don't know. Uh, maybe these uh, stock height uh, springs will give me a little bit more traction on takeoff and stuff like that. 
because I've been having problems just spinning. So we will we'll see. So far, I really won't know until I hit a bump or something like that. But right now, the car's riding real smooth. that on video guys but man this thing screams it's it's, it's awful it's awesome but we'll see but I'm, I'm really impressed with it I'm really impressed and uh, I think I'm gonna keep them on here for a little bit so yeah so I'll see y'all guys back when I get home all right, the test drive, I mean, I loved it. I love the cars handle a whole lot better. And as far as the temperature, I did a couple of good pulls and it's at 185. I'm really, imp I am impressed with this. And the temperature outside is around about 80 degrees. So hopefully I got the cooling issue down, fixed rather. And let's go out here and see if, uh, see if the springs, uh, settle down uh right there it's just it's okay i guess it's the other side i'm worried about all right i had to go check and make sure uh, it's all right i guess i'm gonna leave it like that for a while so guys this probably do it for the video uh like i said the car's running good i like the springs i'm sorry i didn't go to bowling green but you know i had to work so with that being said guys if this is your first time checking out the video or checking out my channel hit that subscribe button uh like the video comment 
they, you know, you don't do all this stuff right there. It helps the channel grow. Um, with that being said, guys, uh, till the next video, guys, uh, I'm out. Peace.